there. You must be visiting from Lyra to participate in the Iridori Festival. We'll be your guides and we'll take you on to the island. Huh? Is it Paimon or have we met somewhere before? <laughs> yes, in fact we have. I'm Shu from Feiyun Commerce Guild. Aboard this ship, we have calligraphers, painters, and even players of Theater Mechanicus. Ooh, that's the why. Theater Mechanicus previously came to the Feiyun Commerce Guild seeking investment. Although the guild manager was not interested, the master still wanted to support them. We heard that they'd be demonstrating the game and letting people try Theater Mechanicus at the Iridori Festival. So the guild manager instructed Master and I to take the opportunity to come to Inazuma and investigate the product's potential. Oh, speaking of which, where's the young master? Ah, well, uh, master, he's, uh... Um... Whoa! He's there. He's just sitting there! Sound asleep! How come he's there? Oh. Oh. It's the Traveler in Paimon. I presume you are guests in Inazuma as well? It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once again. Oh, we aren't actually guests. We're actually guides for the Iridori Festival. Sengcho, how are you doing? Oh, please, no need to worry. I was a little too caught up in a novel on the voyage here. When I finally realized what time it was, the first rays of dawn were already peeking over the horizon. Uh, yes, now that we've arrived, the Conjo Commission will likely wish to inspect our invitation letter. Let's keep it in hand, shall we? Huh? That's oh odd. my, what's wrong, man? <laughs> there was a piece of paper underneath my bag. Strange. I don't recall seeing it there before. It's like Venti's case again, don't tell me. Oh, let Paimon have a look! The five cousins blender. I ain't no Okina. Oh, so this is the second part. All right. Oh, there's no doubt about it. It's from the same series as the story we found before. Even the handwriting looks exactly the same. The story you found before? Oh yeah, in the warehouse down by the. Ahem. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> a friend of ours is on retail to paint portraits of the five Kassen. You know, as part of the Iridori Festival. Poetic stories about the five Kassen have been hidden in various places nearby. If you can find one of the stories and give it to this friend of ours, then there's a chance you'll become the model for the next portrait. <laughs> Wait a moment. So you mean that... Paimon, you're so terrible at making up stories, man. Uh, hey! It's hard coming up with stuff on the spot like that! There is a chance of meeting Kelx in person? Uh... Huh? Oh, uh, yeah! You could say that. Really? That's wonderful! I knew that Kelx would attend the Iridori <laughs> Festival. It's really interesting. But convincing my father to let me come to Inazuma was proving to be quite the high hurdle. I had to really rack my mind to come up with the excuse of evaluating the investment value of Theater Mechanicus. Just a few days later, word then came that Calx would be busy painting portraits of the five Kassen during the festival. It is a most rare opportunity for both Calx and I to be in Inazuma together, but it seemed he would be too busy with the portraits to meet with me. So, I felt quite disappointed for some time now. Don't worry, Shinjo. Even though Calx has work to do, he still has time to see friends. We can take you to see him right now. Also, we heard that Calx did illustrations for your A Legend of Sword novel. Mm hmm. So you've already heard. To be honest, my works have drawn little interest in Liyue. However, the novels are selling quite well in Inazuma with the help of Calx's beautiful illustrations. Calx is not only a skilled artist, but he also carries out his craft with great alacrity. I heard that it took him merely a few hours to finish the illustrations for the latest chapter. But when I looked at the art, the brushwork did not even look the slightest bit rushed. His work is truly exquisite. Oh my, I was beginning to get carried away there. 
Let us depart. Quickly now. <sighs> Luckily, the idea of meeting Albedo managed to draw Xingqiu's attention and keep the situation under wraps. Let's just hope we don't let anything slip while meeting Albedo. All right. Act two, man. There we go. Traveler, Paimon, how are you? And who is this accompanying you? You must be Calx. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you. I am the author of A Legend of Sword, Gen... Uh, forgive me. It's rude of me to introduce myself by my pen name when meeting in person. <laughs> Please, call me Xingqiu. He didn't say his pen you name. call me Albedo, then. No, no. That would be most improper. Why not? Seeing as we're both friends of the Traveler, it'd be more convenient for us to use our real names. Mm, okay. Besides, we've already corresponded with each other many times before. In fact, I feel a bit self-conscious seeing you act so politely. <laughs> it's not just you, Albedo. We haven't seen Qingzhou act this awkward before either. It's a real eye-opener, that's for sure. Uh -um. You guys... It's certainly not good taste for you two to be teasing me like that. Oh, by the way, we happened to find a story from the poem hunt competition at the docks. I heard that you are collecting them. Hmm? <laughs> now he's confused, man. Uh, you know, that thing where we have to find pieces of paper with stories of the five cousin? Uh, then he found one, and then he was allowed to be a model for one of your portraits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Had to play along. Oh, we understand the story now. Thank you. It's very helpful. Splendid. Though, I'm still piecing together the story myself. Would you kindly explain it to me in more detail? If all of you are free, why don't we discuss this over a meal? Uh, well, about that. Do you have other plans, Xingqiu? Uh, no, no, not at all. Speaking of dining, Shimura's unagi chaskia is quite delicious. Would you like to go there? Shimura's? Uh, unfortunately, today is a bit windy. Uh, how about Uyu Restaurant instead? <laughs> Indoors. That's perfectly fine with me. But I must first unpack my luggage. Let's meet later at Uyu Restaurant. Oh yeah, see you there. Hmm. Something didn't quite add up just now. Huh? No way! Paimon thinks we acted well together! Oh, do we say something we weren't supposed to? <laughs> no, Paimon, I'm not referring to us. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Xingqiu was a little suspicious. Huh? Xingqiu's suspicious? Hey! What are you two talking about? Paimon. You read the poem, right? Although it may seem confusing to Xingqiu on its own, what if we read it together with the previous poem we found? Read them together? Hmm, let's see. Suiko lost Aoi no Okina's poem in a drunken stupor. So, Aoi no Okina recovered the poem and gave it to some mysterious person. Huh? Wait a minute. Could today's story be hinting that the one who stole the latest copies of A Legend of Sword was Shinto himself? No way! That can't be right! Shinto only arrived in Inazuma this morning! Hmm. And that is precisely the point of suspicion. If Shinto had only just arrived in Inazuma, how could he recommend Shimura's Chasuke? Moreover, he didn't raise any questions when I suggested another place because of the windy weather. This means he knows that Shimura's is an open-air restaurant. Hmm. hmm. Are you saying that Shinto has already been in Inazuma for some time? And that he's only <laughs> pretending he just arrived? Yes, that is indeed my Maybe. Conclusion. I also kind of suspected but it. How could Shinto be the book thief? His mission is to fight for justice, isn't it? There's no way he'd do something against his own ideals. Uh, calm down, Paimon. Even though this is the first time I've met Xingqiu in person, we've communicated via letters for some time now. I do have some understanding of his character. I think there must be some deeper motive at play here. 
The story also tells us that Aoi no Okina flees with a poem because of a threat. Oh? Could Shinjo be in danger? It's difficult to say at this Ooh, point. What's going on, Mice? But given that we your restaurant is indoors, it'll be easy for us to detect anyone following or eavesdropping on us. I think it should be safe for us to talk there. I'll be relying on your assistance to get to the bottom of this matter. Got it. Good. Then let's head to Uyu Restaurant. Uyu Restaurant. Let's go. See anyone suspicious around? It seems clear for the moment. Let's go inside and wait for Xingqiu. Oh, this whole thing's starting to make Paimon a little nervous. What do we do? And what do we talk about when Xingqiu gets here? First, we must ascertain whether Xingqiu was already in Inazuma or not. If we can find evidence of him deceiving us. Then we can use it as leverage to persuade him to tell us the truth. Hmm. Since we're still waiting for him, why don't you go and chat with other guests in the restaurant and see if you can learn anything useful? Hmm. Let's take a look about that. Ask around, okay. Albedo is in here. Gets here. Any ideas? Hmm. I will try to break the ice by talking about our work on novels and illustrations. If he really is hiding something, then he might feel even more nervous than we do. If we start by talking about our work creating novels, perhaps he will lower his guard. Oh, come to think of it, Shinto mentioned that he'd like to thank you for finishing the illustrations on time. He said they looked amazing despite the time you had. Is that so? Hmm. That is also a very valuable clue. Oh, this guy, Yonta. The last phase of the Iridori Festival is when they release the all-new publications. The one I'm really looking forward to is a Legend of Sword. That's right. A signed first edition is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. I've seen Gen Yu's signature before. His handwriting is super neat. He must be really diligent about his style. He'll be there in person on the day of the release, so we'll get a good look at him then. I hear that he's actually pretty young. Wait a minute. Did you just hear that? Not only will Xingqiu be signing novels at the release, but his handwriting is super neat? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, this guy. Hello there, what can I get for you? Hi, do you have any special recommendations today? Why, of course. I personally recommend our freshly caught seafood. It's been pouring these past few days, so the fishing boats haven't been able to sail at all. But the weather finally cleared up today, so we have some fresh catch. So the weather at sea has been bad these past few days? It sure has. A few guests from Liyue were just telling me that their boat was heaving and rolling all the way here. They couldn't do anything but sleep the entire trip. Oh, this might be some useful information. Sing Chiu arrives solely after, right? Mm, that was delicious. Inazuman cuisine largely consists of fresh seafood, which is certainly to my liking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's good. We were worried you might not have an appetite because you didn't sleep well. Now's our chance. Let's talk to Shinchu and see if he says anything useful. Maybe we could start by asking him about the journey. Talk about his thoughts regarding the journey. Well, I've never embarked on such a long journey before. Though I was quite excited when we set off, 
The long days at sea quickly became most monotonous. Speaking of the journey, did anything noteworthy happen along the way? Well, to be honest, I spent most of the trip with my nose in a novel. <laughs> well, that didn't tell us much. Um, talk about the book he read during the voyage. By the way, Xingqiu, what book were you reading on the way here? Oh, I was reading a novel called <laughs> Can you Please Keep Some <laughs> Oh my gosh. By my editor. That book? Nothing I couldn't handle. Don't forget, I'm proficient in the arts of the Guhua clan. That being said, there were quite a few people aboard who felt seasick. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about what he said so far. Talk about the scenery on the journey. To be honest, there wasn't much to see. Just water all around, morning to night. The sheer monotony of the trip caused everyone to grow a little impatient. So, when the peak of Mount Yogo finally appeared in the distance as we approached the islands of Inazuma, everyone crowded the deck to have a look. However, the ship sailed along at a crawling pace. It took a whole day from the time we saw the mountain peak to the time we docked. Paimon didn't catch anything suspicious so far. No, there was nothing really suspicious. Oh, right! If it took an entire day to reach the docks, then it would have been pouring rain at the time they saw the top of the mountain. We learned a couple of things from his account, but we still require more evidence. Let's discuss creating novels with Xingqiu. Talk about Xingqiu's own novel. While it is entertaining to read novels, writing one is an endeavor of its own. You must give great thought to every detail, from the layout of the plot to the rhythm of the lines. And even when you have come up with interesting content, there's still no guarantee that it will be to your liking. I couldn't agree more. Whether it's writing a book, creating art, or studying alchemy, seldom can you really feel joy after seriously delving into the work. Xingqiu and Albedo are getting into some deep topics now, but nothing suspicious has come up. Talk about Albedo's illustrations. Speaking of illustrations, Albedo, I've long wished to express my sincerest gratitude for providing the illustrations in my novel. My novel didn't sell well in Liyue, so I must admit that I had some reservations regarding its potential. Yet you've consistently managed to select the most important scene of the chapter for your illustrations. This made me feel as though what I was trying to express could be understood after all. Uh, thank you. However, I took some risks in the illustrations, so... I'm feeling slightly uneasy myself. Risk. Light novel illustrations are typically centered around the characters, but this time, I adopted a different approach in the illustration for the last chapter. Well, that scene was intended to depict the change in the world, so I thought it very fitting to draw only scenery. Hmm. Doesn't sound like anything suspicious has come up so far. No, there was a crack in his alibi. My illustrations were sent for printing the moment they arrived in Inazuma. So, logically speaking, there's no way he could possibly know what the illustrations look like. Uh, Xingqiu, we have something very important to ask you now. Oh? Why the solemn looks all of a sudden? Xingqiu, what's with the facade? Huh? I'm afraid I don't follow. Mr. Okazaki told us earlier that actually the weather at sea was very bad these last few days. So when you said that everyone came running to the deck to see Mount Yogo, that couldn't have happened! <laughs> On top of that, the latest installment of A Legend of Sword will only be revealed at the Irodori Festival. Even we, the creators, haven't received a sample copy. If that's the case, how could you know what my illustrations look like? Uh, uh, well... Uh-oh. Jigs up, Xingqiu. You were already in Inazuma before today, weren't you? Are you in some kind of danger but can't tell us the truth? Don't worry, the Traveler and Albedo are no pushovers, we can help you! No, no, please, you misunderstand me. <sighs> I suppose my lack of sleep is inevitably taking its toll on my mind. I didn't notice for a moment that you were testing me at all. 
I did in fact come to Inazuma early to handle some things. Let me consider how to explain this. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is most embarrassing. Oh, -ho! oh! Well, if this isn't a coincidence, <laughs> I didn't expect to see everyone here. Huh? Tonga Bard, what are you doing here? <laughs> I heard that the owner of this establishment has some fine aged wines. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to taste them. Paimon knew you couldn't possibly be up to anything good. Says who? <laughs> In fact, I come as the bearer of good tidings. I just bumped into Kujo Sara a moment ago. She said that the hey, Twitch Chong has apprehended <laughs> the criminal who stole all those copies of A Legend of Sword. You needn't worry about it any longer. Huh? The criminal who stole A Legend of Sword? Uh, did I say something I shouldn't have? Oh no. The person they apprehended. Was it by chance an editor named Onodera? Apologies, Kujo Sara didn't mention a name. But I saw her taking someone toward Hanamizaka. Everyone, it's too late to explain. <laughs> we must make haste and rescue Onodera. Black Cliff, but that was last month. <laughs> Wait, Onodera is innocent. Oh, so you must be the author of A Legend of Sword. I didn't expect to see others tagging along with you. Anyway, you mustn't take him away. I can explain everything. You don't need to worry, Zhenyu. I've just explained everything to Madame Kujo, and Kuroda has testified for me. Yes. In fact, we were just getting ready to leave. Oh, phew. What a relief. Hmm. Wait a minute. Does everyone else here already know? <laughs> <clears throat> well, to be precise, we had dispatched two additional squads here, in order to prevent the suspect from escaping. Uh... Shinjo looks pretty flustered. What exactly is going on here? I bet he has something to do with his signature. Uh, ahem. Though it's most embarrassing, it appears quite a few people are aware of the situation now. There's no use keeping it a secret. In the end, I'm the one responsible for this whole predicament. No, Jen Yu. It's only appropriate that I take responsibility for this. Everyone, please let me explain. For the Iridori Festival, I recommended the idea of selling newly released novels signed by the authors. Not only was this the first major project I was in charge of since joining the Yai Publishing House, but Lady Yai also gave me a lot of support. However, I did not discuss our plans with the authors in advance. As a result, it caused a great deal of trouble for Gen Yu. Yes, to be frank, calligraphy is not my strong point, so signing events are really not my forte. Even though such an event will be difficult for Gen Yu, after telling him how important the plans were to me, he immediately boarded a ship to Inazuma to come up with a solution. So these past few days, Gen Yu has been actively practicing his handwriting. However, it takes time to sign each book. And we realized the time we reserved for the signing was not nearly enough. So I came up with the idea of moving the new books from the warehouse to my place. That way, Jen Yu could use these few days to sign them all. I thought everything would work out without a hitch. I never expected that someone would immediately realize that the books were missing from the warehouse. To make things worse, I was on vacation and staying with Jen Yu in my house these past few days. I had no idea that the situation had turned into such a huge mess. All of this happened because I wanted to prove myself through this event. Onodera, I agreed to your proposal because I didn't want the readers to know of my unsightly handwriting. Also, I knew that Onodera had been misled by one of my prior signatures. At a previous event, the Yai Publishing House had requested autographs of authors so that they could be put on display. I practiced tirelessly for an entire day to finally deliver a stylish and elegant signature for the event. But, looking back on it now, I had dug myself into a hole by delivering that nice signature for the sake of my pride. Hey, come on you two, loosen up a little. The theft was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. Besides, everyone has something they do not wish others to see. Yeah, that's right! All that matters is that Xingqiu and his books are okay. Onodera, I think you should explain the truth regarding the stolen books to the rest of the people on Rito. Yes, I understand. 
I'll apologize to everyone. We should probably be heading back to Rito as well. Let's tag along. Onodera? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on leave these few days? I'm very sorry for all the trouble that I've caused. Yes, Onodera, but... Why didn't you tell everyone earlier? If you had told us, we could have thought of some ways to help you. That's right. We're a team, and we should be helping each other in tough situations like this. Let's leave the past behind us now. Our first priority is to help Gen Yu with his signatures. How is your progress so far? My progress is not what I had hoped for. Even after working through the night these past few days, I've only finished perhaps one-tenth of the signatures. Oh, no wonder. So sleepy today. wonder so tired. <laughs> I understand. Murata? Go back to the Ai Publishing House and get Aratani to book a room on the second floor of the Uyu restaurant. We'll be using it for Gen Yi's emergency calligraphy lessons. Yes, Mr. Hiriyama. It just so happens that my brother is a calligrapher. Should I ask him to lend his assistance as well? Yes, good idea. Ah, you've just reminded me. Two calligraphers from Liyue arrived today. We worked with them before, so I'll go and ask them to help out too. It seems I'm really in for it now. No need to worry, Zhen Yu. I'm sure you can do it. Didn't you finish the last chapter of your novel in just one week's time? <laughs> yes, but writing novels and learning calligraphy are two entirely different skills. Even though Sing Cho still has to deal with his handwriting issue, Paimon somehow feels a little relieved now. I always used to prefer working alone in my workshop, but I've come to realize that Solving problems with others also has its merits. We also owe a special ode of gratitude to the mysterious person who has been leaving important info for us along the way. Huh? You mean whoever left behind those stories about the five Kassen? Pardon me, but what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, right. We haven't had a chance to explain things to Shinkyo yet. I see. It appears that Onodera and I were spotted when we were moving the books. Albedo, may I ask you one thing? Are you able to include me in a portrait as well? Not only do I owe the successful resolution of today's incident to that story, but I also hope that I'll remember this lesson. No problem. Considering the similarities between the portrait and the events that have taken place, your proposal is very reasonable. Oh, that figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. Albedo really is something. He finished the portrait of Aoi wow. Okina in no time at all. Nice. Wonder how Shincho's calligraphy training is going at Uyu Restaurant. Hey, do you think whoever left those stories for us could be hiding somewhere nearby? It's a possibility. Oh, hello, Mr. Story Writer. Are you here? Uh. <laughs> Ooh, what cat! Cat sound! Ooh, cat! <laughs> <laughs> it was just a cat. Looks like we can't make them reveal themselves that easily. It's getting late now. Well, let's go back and get some rest. We still have to go to the docks and wait for another ship tomorrow morning. 
Ooh, there was someone there. Dang. To be continued. So many complaints. What should I do? Need any help? Ah, oh, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. <sighs> what a headache. Can you drive them away? Well, we tried talking to them, but the original point of these entertainment facilities was to let people freely enjoy the festival. So in principle, it's open to everyone. And there's no time limit on usage. This means that as long as they haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it, there is nothing we can do. So, can you try negotiating with them for us? If these complaints can't be resolved and Madame Cujo finds out, I'll lose my bonus this month for sure. Hugging a photo <laughs> board, huh? Oh, we know who would do something like that. Should we go and have a look? No, don't spoil anything for me. <laughs> I'm gonna play this one shot. Thank you so much. You'll find them by the Tanuki photo board just east of the square. Okay, okay, I think I I think I've seen this one. No problem, this one I think I should hey, be able hey, to do. Traveler, Paimon, what's happening? Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival too? Oh, see, I knew it! Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> oh, you're such a child. <laughs> We're here to take care of a little problem. Yo, yo, right. Yeah, well, who's got a problem? The Arataki gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> the Arataki gang is the problem! The Terrio Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody else has had a chance to use it. Oh, uh, well, no, we haven't. They've received quite a few complaints. Uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. Explain the situation to these good people. Yes, boss. The story starts two months ago, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. As everyone knows, this is a festival all about showcasing culture, with books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. Our boss is very forward-thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki Gang and help craft a glorious public image. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves. I don't think Ito is bad, though. Well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. Of course that was your main reason. At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, boss planned to write 60 pages. But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of one line. Well, I mean, come on, you gotta make sure the quality is up to scratch. More like worst procrastinator ever. <laughs> so we cut some of the planned content, and figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. But the day after that, the boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. Everyone loved it! It felt like we only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by! I'm telling you, this game? It's pretty incredible. I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? Sure you were! Inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about. So, then we only had two weeks left. No way was that going to be enough time to publish a book. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. That way, we'd only need to think of a slogan. That makes more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? Yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. But 30 was too many. 
and we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. It took us a week to make the final decision. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing, because there was so little time left. And we couldn't afford it! You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job, and <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. The Arataki gang only puts out the very best into the world. And that is why I decided to give up on that project. Sure. That, yep, well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and Oni alike. But it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo 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 max <laughs> And the way you chose to enjoy yourselves was so to funny. Commandeer a novelty photo board? Um, so, at first, Boss brought us here to buy some drinks. He said there was some sort of Iridori Festival limited edition soft drink available. That's right. This ain't no ordinary <laughs> drink either. Yeah, Momex. <laughs> joint creation of Sailing Breeze and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel, Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. Uh, what? But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. Oof. They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked. And then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, all the drinks were sold out. Oh. We were pretty disappointed. But there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? <laughs> I beg to differ. It's public property. We didn't commandeer anything. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. Yeah, Boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki gang, and we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan, too. Oh, brother, what a noble cause. You could also go buy some books, man. But we spent so much money on our appearance. <laughs> we only had enough left for one of those drinks. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. Well, you can't just take over this photo board for yourself because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it too. I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. So come on, let someone else have their turn already. Um, um. <laughs> but you know full well that the Arataki gang has a reputation to uphold. If I say I'm going to make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's got to have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. <clears throat> that being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. The Arataki way, huh? Hyman has a bad feeling about this. So I, Arataki Numero Uno Ito, challenge you to an all-out, no-holds-barred, anything-goes duel. If you win, I will leave this board alone. Wait, do you mean a beetle fight? Oh, beetle fighting is an awesome idea! Just so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni Kabuto the other day. I call it Demon of Darkness. Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today. So... Oh. <laughs> so, how are we gonna do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um... Yeah, ugh, wow, this is a, this is a tough nut to crack. Let me think for a second, um... <laughs> hey, Isn't that Toma? Ooh, Toma! And Paimon. Please, get in line over here. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Toma. Ayaka? I don't know, man. Probably she'll appear later, though. <sighs> well, I heard that a certain well known individual had made an appearance at the festival and taken quite a liking to the Tanuki photo board. Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Hmm. Red horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader of the widely renowned Arataki Gang. Is that right? <laughs> Toma, my bro, your eyes do not deceive you. And you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you too, um, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> serious bromance developing here. I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry, you can tell me anything. It's old Ito. He wants to. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It's no, no. It's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel, and uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Oh, a duel. In that case, I have a suggestion. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? Then, you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? Volunteering competition? I, uh, sounds a little low-key. Not quite hardcore enough for the Arataki gang. I give this idea an interest rating of uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. Boss means, uh, two points out of a hundred. <laughs> yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing Breeze, as a small token of appreciation. Okay, nice. On second thought, nice. this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki gang. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, 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 wait a sec. What was that part about the, uh, token of appreciation? Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House and Sailing Breeze. It's <laughs> really nothing special. Boss, that's the one! <laughs> if we take this gig, we'll get that drink! <laughs> oh, so, uh... Oh Tom, my god. Oh my guy, my dude. Maybe I didn't explain properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of two. <laughs> If there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. It's an awesome idea. Totally hardcore. Practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing. Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. There's actually no need for the duel after all. Hey, this is <laughs> just want the drink. Arataki of all <laughs> bold-blooded Ito you're talking to here. I'm a say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, oh. we're gonna have this duel. AKA doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. If it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. The volunteer work is simple. You just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. I will assign some job requests that I've already received to you. If you're ready, we can begin. Let's hide and see. Okay, our first job is to help a busy vendor. The stand is so Are you the volunteers? Perfect timing. As you can see, there's a lot of dust and dead leaves around my stand. I've just been so busy with my customers these past few days. I keep meaning to sweep up. Actually, I'm also not sure what's going on. I'll see you later. <laughs> Can you help me clean up the place, please? Thank you so much. I have to clear the store. Okay, that's clean. Uh, yeah. Um, let me just switch. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, so gross. Okay. 
That's clean. Finished already? You're wonderful people, all you volunteers. Thank you so much. Our next job is to help a visitor. Oh, this kid. <laughs> hey, mister, come and help me. Hey, Kajirai. Fancy meeting you here at the festival. But we don't have time to play games with you right now. I'm not playing I have no idea. I'm in trouble. Oh. I heard they were selling a new kind of tamari at the festival, so I, I came to check it out. But I, I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I went and lost my current one. <laughs> it's gotta be nearby. I, I still had it a moment ago. <laughs> Can you help me, mister? <sighs> so basically, every time we run into you, we have to go tamari hunting. So I have to find something looks like. Oh no, I'm losing. Yeah. Uh. Wait, where's that thing? Where's oh, it's this area. It's somewhere here, right? Oh, there we go. It's there. Oh no! Here I go. Great! Ah, oh, now I can play the Tamari game again. Got it, man. I think just in time. <laughs> okay, one last job. No. Oh, it's just here. Next on the agenda. Okay, okay. We're way behind schedule. Still got this one. Huh? Are you the festival volunteers? Oh, great. I was just wondering what to do about these goods. It's been really busy lately and all the workers at the port are swamped. But I have to get all this fresh soy milk delivered to the warehouse as soon as possible. It'll go bad if it's left outside too long. Can you please help me take it to the warehouse? My co-worker Takeuchi will be waiting for you there. Thank you so much. Next on the agenda. <laughs> oh. Dang, yeah, still got. You must be the volunteers here to save the day. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. It's freshly made every day. In fact, the last batch of soy milk we processed has just been sent over. You'll get to try it very soon. <laughs> oh yeah, Ito doesn't like soy milk. Hurry, we've gotta get to Sailing Breeze before he does! Sailing Breeze, okay. Next on the agenda. Oh, he's already here. <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long? I've been here ages, completed my tasks a long time ago. So there you have it. When volunteering is the name of the game, no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito. <laughs> you lose, I win, and to the victor go the special edition spoils. Behold, the drink of champions, created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with Yai Publishing House, and as featured in the popular work, Pretty Please Kitsune Guji? Woo, all this talk's making me thirsty. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Drink of champions, it's time to come home. Wait, they are beans. Ah, woo! <laughs> woo! That's the good stuff. <laughs> Soy man, yeah. That was a mighty fine drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although, maybe it was past its prime. 
boss. They said they think there might be uh <laughs> b beats in the door. <laughs> no, man, you son. No. Ah! Oh my. <laughs> Just like that is down with you. <laughs> Quick, get him to a doctor. What's wrong? You can't tell Rataki Ito drink soy products? He's allergic to beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My goodness. Okay. Uh, quick, <laughs> grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not too serious. Oof. I'm sorry. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. Do you be honest? Ito Toma doesn't know again. I'll make sure he stands again. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll see you later. Oh. So, your friend is allergic to beans. It's a very rare condition, though I have heard about it. I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. I feel terrible. If you don't mind, please take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. Please accept it, along with our sincere apologies. Oh, recipe. Nice.